Now this is a delicious pudding you're using hot cross buns. Now I always laugh about things like this. You know, Christmas seems to start, they start selling things in the shops for Christmas in about the middle of the year. Well, I reckon they start selling stuff for Easter. Oh, Christmas? I suppose you start seeing Easter eggs and you start seeing hot cross buns. So, I don't feel so bad about doing something with hot cross buns, thinking in the old days that most of would have only been around for one week, or they would have only been around for one week. Well, now they're most probably here for six months. Don't get any of that fancy shit. You know, the things that... The lamington, but I saw somebody lamington hot cross buns. You have to be kidding, just the old fashioned ones. These ones were very cheap actually, because, because I think the thing is everyone's gone mad on those those fancy pants things, which I don't like. If I'm gonna have a hot cross bun, I want an old fashioned one. All right, now, the pudding. First of all, we've just got four hot cross buns here. They can be a bit stale, that's fine. And I'm gonna cut it up into cubes just like that. It's about the size and we're going to put it in an oven tray and we're then going to put them in the oven 180 degrees preheated for about 15 minutes and then we take them out, turn them around every now and then, you know give them a bit of a toss so they don't burn on the bottom and then sit it for 15 minutes just still in the tray. Actually, I love this, this is, this is real fun. I suppose you'd say it's sort of like a fancy pants bread and butter pudding really wouldn't you? Because I've made bread and butter pudding with, with everything from croissants to panettone, you know, you name it. So there we've got our tray. Keep it fairly tightly packed because otherwise they will burn. 15 minutes in the 180 degree oven. And then 15 minutes sitting just on the bench. Right, my hot cross buns have been sitting there for the 15 minutes. Now, let's make the custard. Three or four eggs. These are fairly small eggs, so maybe I'll do four. And 150 mils of cream. About a third of a cup of sugar. And half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just whisk that up. And what you then do you throw in your fairly hot hot cross buns which I toasted and then I'm going to mix it into this custard mix and I'm going to leave it for about half an hour mixing it up every now and then just to get coated well and to take up that custard mix so every now and then we will come back and what I've also got here is I've got about a half a cup of sultanas which once it's soaked up all the goodies I'll add those too. All right, guys, next step. Now, what I've got here is I've got a gratin dish. I've got my, my hot cross bun, which has been sitting there for half an hour. I've got that half a cup of sultanas, which I'll just mix in. Mix it in well, guys, and make sure that your custard mix is done well too. And I've got a large gratin dish. You may need to invite some friends over for this because it's quite a large portion for two, isn't it? Actually, it's so bloody delicious, I reckon you'll, you'll end up eating it anyway. You'll come back for seconds and thirds. I used to have a friend who, who used to order desserts first. I'm not that big a dessert man. I, I love things like this and bread and butter puddings and rice pudding and stuff like that. You know, more old fashioned apple pie, stuff like that. But he used to order the desserts first and he'd have that. And then he'd go on to the main courses. Right, on top of that, we're just going to drizzle some melted butter, not too much, about 20 grams I reckon, and I've got some foil here somewhere, I'm just going to cover this into the oven, 180 degrees, preheated, fairly high up, 30 minutes, take the foil off, and then for another 20, maybe 30 minutes. Oh, that doesn't look half bad. Look at that, guys. That is a ripper. Now, to serve with that. Madeira. Now, Madeira is not a cheap after dinner drink, it really isn't, but it comes from the island of Madeira, it's very special. We used to have a, well not we used to, we once had a wonderful pianist that Champagne Charlie's do a week. Steve Ross was his name, he was from the Algonquin Hotel and he did a week of wonderful 
what would you call it, full floor shows and played piano and sang and did all those terrific things. Gee, he was a wonderful, lovely man too. Anyway, the point of the story was he always used to do that song, Have a Madeira, My Dear. And he insisted on having a glass or two of Madeira as he sang it. So we had to go rush out and buy a very expensive bottle of Madeira for him because we thought, oh, we can't do a cheapie, can we? So he used to have his Madeira. Aren't you glad I shared that with you? Now, I've got some extra thick cream, which is beautiful on the side. Or you could do vanilla ice cream, of course. And we've got some icing sugar, which I'm just going to sprinkle over the top. Just what a smell that. It's beautiful. And that Madeira. If you haven't got Madeira, musket or toke. So, hot cross bun pud. Thick cream, Madeira, more do you want? Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do and don't forget, it's free. Okay, okay. cheers.